full power gives us a stable airspeed, so we are able to fly. Look at that! Now, buddy, this is a plane, but this is also a plane. Everybody, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk versus the Airbus A320neo. Both are planes, both can fly, but both are so different, of course, especially in engine power. See, this plane right here is powered by the Leap 1A CFM engine with around about 46,000 horsepower. And this right here is the Lycoming 0360 engine with a whopping 178 horsepower and so a lot of you guys keep asking me swiss can you do an engine swap how many cessna 172 engines would a a320 need to take off you know this could be a bit of an interesting comparison of how much power there really is in these jet engines and so everybody it's about time we do what we need to do and that is put a cessna 172 engine on an a320 while at the same time getting rid of these bad boys let's take a look how many cessna engines would an a320 need to fly i reckon it's more than just one so everybody my genius friends let's uh let's take a look um let's power on this airplane now so this is all just the same turn on the batteries right here from the fuel pumps as well and also turn on the apu now so let's do that yes this is the sound i want to hear the apu starting up and the ironic thing is that this engine in the back which just provides electricity has like 500 horsepower which is a lot more than the cessna engine <laughs> Either way, things are looking great. The APU will definitely uh, um, have to be on for the whole flight. Because this little propeller engine up here isn't even able to generate the electricity needed to power the systems on board. <laughs> but all right, I think our uh, engine is ready for startup. Um, let's get everything ready here. We uh, can use the ignition system to turn on the... We can see that worked. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have turned on our uh, airplane. Can you hear the sound of the Cessna engine? Now, the APU is a bit louder than the Cessna engine, I feel like. But we can hear this. Yes. Now, with the APU powering this, our uh, systems work. So, let's go ahead and take a look if we can even uh, move. So, what I'll do here is give in full power into this engine. 600 pounds of thrust. It's really doing it. It's giving full power. We're going full power. We're achieving almost 160 horsepower into our in Hello. This is uh, clearly, this is not working. We're giving full power. No kidding. Come on, I'm still giving full power. Let's maybe see if if we skip time a little bit. After all, this thing needs to be... Come on, just... No, we are not able to move a single inch through the force of the Cessna engine. No kidding. So let's maybe go ahead and add a few more. How about three of those? You know... Yes, everybody, we now have three engines on the Airbus A320. And as you can see, they all run and they provide some horsepower. Um, now, normally, having more engines means less fuel efficiency. But look, everybody, this thing could stay on for 182 hours of flight because we still have the big fuel tanks of the Airbus A320, though we wouldn't be able to, you know, fuel up Jet A fuel. We would need normal Avgas because these use different fuel than a jet engine, obviously. Um, so let's go and release the parking brake and see if we can at all move. I really just wonder. Let's go full power on all those three engines, providing lots of horsepower and D. Let's see. Come on. Can we even move at all? God damn it, no, we can't. We're generally giving full power here. Come on, try harder. Maybe let's go ahead and skip time a little bit. See if this thing will be able to move at some point. Come on. Yep. No way we're going to move at all. Maybe if we do reduce the weight to the minimum. Maybe like this. Uh, yeah, with a little bit of weight removed. So a bit of friction here on the landing gear removed. We are maybe even able to move like a microscopic inch. Uh, no, we definitely need more engines to even move the A320 at all. I mean, there might be a reason why large aircraft tractors for airliners have up to 1300 horsepower, which is uh, a lot more than we even have. We need more engines. How many more? How many more engines are we going to need? Hmm, you know, how about uh, 10 engines? 10 Cessna 172 engines, and we're finally cracking like a thousand horsepower that we should be actually able to move now. With our new engines, our flight time has dropped significantly. We can only fly for 68, well, we won't be able to fly, but we can keep the engines running for 68 hours. And sorry, look at this right here. We've got all the engines running now, as you can clearly tell. Uh, let's just see, um, park brake release. Let's go and release the normal brakes. Yes! Everybody, I'm taxiing! We're using Cessna engines to taxi! 
And we actually, actually, we look, we can actually build up some speed even. Look at that. And it seems like the electricity generators here from the engines are able to power this plane. We have a taxiable Cessna 172 engine plane. Look at this. Hey, we're able to build up some proper speeds right here. 50 knots, 60 knots. Now this would create a whole lot of noise, probably louder than a A320, but also I've like done like very poor placing here on all. Oh, look at that. That's not even like in line. Anyway, look at that. We're able to genuinely move onto the runway by going, you know, yeah, we are going toga takeoff. But look, our fuel flow is only 30 kilograms an hour. That's brilliant. Oh, well, per engine. Now, look at this. Let's get onto the runway and see if we can take, take off. I mean, look, we're able to actually gain speed. 20 knots, 21, 22. This is full power, by the way. 30 knots. It taxis. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Look at that. Yes, and we can reach. I think we've reached already the top speed. 50, 50 knots. This will not be able to fly. But look, we are, we are able to move it. We only need, Ces we need 10 engines of the Cessna, but... You know, we're, we're doing fine. Um, just now we've reached the end of the runway. We can crash the A320. Okay, now it's, everything's dead. Good. I wonder how many more engines can we add? One, two, three. We can add 16 engines in total. Maybe let's see what that is like. Okay, this is going to take a long time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 16 engines on the A320. Okay, everybody, I have done it. 16 Cessna 172 engines on a A320. And so let's see if we can move. Now, go full power. This is looking good. Park brake is released. Let's go ahead and release the wheel brakes. Yes, we're able to taxi. Well, you know, we are at 100% of power. But actually, we're, we're able to, like, build up speed a little bit. 16, 18, not at 20 knots. Look at the acceleration. Oh, no. Don't go too fast. Now, my question really is, could we take off at all with this configure it might be possible but maybe not here on this runway but somewhere else oh the, we are able to build up speed everybody 16 cessna strapped to our airplane though it does have to be said that we're carrying not a lot of fuel uh, or anything we're very empty but hey which still lets us fly for a few hours look we're able to build up proper air speed 70 knots 74 knots this might let us fly at some point let's do some tests all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to los angeles international airport let's go into a static takeoff right here so uh, put on brakes while uh, having all those 170 horsepower engines uh, spool up all the way looking good let's go and release the brakes now as you can see nothing happens because uh, oh, we are uh, starting to move this is looking great let's go and maybe make minimum fuel right here I just want to fly that you know the unfortunate truth is that you would not need only 16 engines to fly an A320 on Cessna engines you would actually need 600 of them to reach the same amount of performance which is insanely funny but as you can see through my genius uh, flying and stuff we are able to achieve some airspeed not a lot of it though 82 knots that's kind of our maximum we can go hey we've made a drivable a320 at least that is a start and at some point we reach uh, grass which actually lowers our speed because of the increased drag of it so uh, we might want to use this mountain there to jump i hope we can make it come on yeah you're good yeah yeah we just there we go we had some air time there i genuinely wonder if we spawn this airplane up into midair can we uh, continue flying on this all right looking uh not too well we are not able to maintain an altitude at all we're not descending at an insane amount. A thousand feet per minute at full power gives us a stable airspeed. So we are able to fly. Look at that. If we wanted to maintain altitude, though, this probably wouldn't be that hard. Easy. So come on, let's put this to there. We go. We're maintaining altitude now. And look at that. We're flying for at least a little bit until we lose all of our airspeed. Honestly, these 16 Cessna engines are able to power the plane relatively okay. Better than I expected. Look, we can, can we can we have a little bit of flight in us. Look at that. So uh that's not that's not that's not the worst. Now, of course, you're gonna tell me, Swiss. No matter what you do, don't like do a full engine swap where you put the A320 engine on a Cessna. I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh no. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Welcome aboard the Cessna 172, which immediately flies. These engines are so powerful that even at idle, you're able to produce power. That is crazy. This thing would just fall apart. 
This is probably the th We can't even land this thing, by the way. Yes, look at that. The most powerful Cessna 172. We're able to bring 12,000 pounds of thrust. This thing is crazy. Uh, also... It's gonna run out of fuel any moment now. We have a flight time of around two minutes on this thing. So, yeah, that's a big difference between those airplanes. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.